I'm delighted to introduce how transformer LLMs work, built with Jay Alamar and Martin Rotendos, the authors of the beautifully illustrated book, Hands-On Large Language Models. Jay is Director of Engineering Fellow at Cohere, and Martin is Senior Clinical Data Scientist at the Netherlands Comprehensive Cancer Institute. In this course, you learn at a deep technical level about the inner workings of how the transformer network architecture, the Paws LMs, works. This is the architecture that revolutionized generative AI. In fact, the GPT in ChatGPT stands for Generative Pre-trained Transformer. So you build an intuition on how LMs process text, and you also work with code examples to illustrate the key components of the transformer architecture. So what you learn is things like what's an attention mechanism and different flavors like self-attention and what is a KV cache and so on. And if these terms don't yet make sense to you, they will after this course. The original transformer was introduced in the 2017 paper Attention is All You Need by Ashish Vaswani and others as a highly scalable model for machine translation tasks. Variants of this architecture now power most of today's LMs from OpenAI, Anthropic, Google, Cohere, and Meta. In 2018, Jay pioneered the efforts of explaining the transform architecture in a well-known article, The Illustrated Transformer. Jay created these wonderful visualizations of the transformer that help many people understand how it works. He also illustrated other models like GPT-2, BERT, and Stable Diffusion. Thank you, Andrew. It's great to be here. Martin and I think that illustrating complex concepts, such as transformers, creates a fun and easy learning process. In our book, we worked on an updated version of the illustrated transformer, as well as describing how to prompt, use, and train LLMs with hands-on coding examples. And we're excited to share some of those ideas with you. Thank you, Jay and Andrew. In this course, you will see an overview of how language models evolved into the transformer architecture, focusing on language representation. You will see early representations where large sparse vectors simply mark the presence of a word, to the smaller, dense, contextual embeddings that represent the meaning of a word in the context of the sentences they are in. You will also learn the meaning of this mysterious and much overused word embedding. You will then explore how LLM inputs are broken down into tokens, which represent words or word pieces before they are sent to the language model. There are several popular tokenizers and you will see how they differ. You will also learn how LLMs map each token to an embedding vector. You'll then take a closer look at the components of the LLM architecture and learn how decoder-only LLMs generate outputs. You will learn the details of the transformer block and how it has evolved in the years since the original paper was released. You'll explore an implementation of recent models in the Hugging Face Transformers library. And after finishing this course, you understand how LMs work in great depth, and you have intuitions to help how you approach building applications with LMs. I hope you enjoy the course.